Welcome to the unboxing of the King Canada 6 inch jointer uh, 150C 2001 model. This was never used, so this is 21 years old, never used. I had to take the protective wrapping off of the top, scrape off all the gunk and residue, get as much rust off of it as I can. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and put the rest of it together. It's never been put together. So here's the unboxing of the King Canada 6 inch 150C jointer. So I found this 6 inch King jointer, uh, 150C, uh, never been used on Kijiji. Okay, so I started removing some of the rust. I got the gunk off, which is some WD-40. Now there's, but there's still that uh, rust put up. So I did this, I bought this rust, I'll show you here. The rust, I know it's not really <clears throat> to remove rust, but penetrates through it. So I got some of that today. So that's what this, Thing is, and I got some Scott Bright, Scotch Bright uh, brushes, sponges, scrape it. So I took it off. I just did that one. You can see where I stopped. So just over here, I did. So I did a little bit of comparison. So I got some off, but that took some heavy sponging. And then I used over here. I tried this piece with just CLR mixed with the water, half and half. And that was super easy to take off. And I think I'm just going to do that for the rest of it. So, stay tuned.
So a lot of these first steps have already been done when I picked it up. So this just talks about adjusting the belt tension. So it says uh, it should have a one inch deflection at the center of the belt because uh, it tells you how to loosen the screws and tighten and make the adjustments. But I checked over here and here's the belt and here's the center of the belt and it moves about an inch perfectly. So I think that's already been, tension's already been set. So in this case, we don't need to do that. Next, we have the guard for the motor belt, but, and it says, make certain it's not cont contacting the guard. <clears throat> it says, make certain it's not contacting the guard. And as I'm putting this on here, I can't do it in a way for those screws to line up and on the other side here to line up without this really touching the belt so I'm not gonna put this on I'm just gonna leave it and uh, let me know if you have encountered this or have any tips or if it's okay to leave it open next we are putting the guard on the back of the fence. And these pictures are pretty black and white. It's kind of hard to see in there, but I figured out it's gonna look this. So there is a screw already in there. I'll just take this off. There is that screw is already set in there. So I took that screw out. I had to push the fence up a bit. And now I'm gonna put that screw back in the end fence there and I think the next piece goes in there looks like this is the piece the little handle that goes at the end there in that hole uh, but it's covered in grease and stuff so I'm going to wipe it down and put it in so we'll wipe it down in the hole there and it just kind of screws in and holds that fence in place okay so it says now next to the guard it says to remove this screw that kind of sticks at the end there put the post down and that little thing at the bottom has a little spring action and you'll see what I mean here, right down there, that knob, if you turn it, it's like a little spring, and I gotta adjust the tension as I put it down. Let's make sure I'm putting this the right way. I think this is the right way. Okay, it works. So when you put this in, before you put this all the way through, twist this knob about two times. I did two full turns around, then this part hooks onto that bar, and that's what gives you the spring action, like that. The red there. there we go. Now, that screw that we took out at the beginning goes in the other side there. Luckily, all of the motor mount and everything was assembled. Probably if you're buying this model, it's going to be assembled anyway, because it's most likely going to be used. Uh, we just had to finish with the dust collector part here. And this is pretty straightforward. This is just a plate that's going up in here with some screws that are already kind of set. 
already kind of set it. Like that. The only thing I'm missing is the uh, round piece, four, I believe it's four inch hole, but that's okay. I saw another video, there's another guy on here who uh, posted a video saying that the dust collection is not amazing anyway for these guys. So I'm not too worried about it. Just kind of prepared to make a mess. Oh, it's got some pegs. So those pegs go in there. And this kind of hooks up in there. It's pretty straightforward. Now I have these two pieces left over. I just kind of going to go through the manual and figure out what they are for. Found out what this is for. It's for here. So just by looking at the picture actually. And this is for, well, I'll tell you what it's for, it's, uh, oh, it's probably to pull it back and forth. H. Thread face tilting handle. It's a threaded hole in the back of the fence to tilt the fence. There we go. One more to go. So I didn't take the blades out because they look like they were put in so well, nice and level. But this was all gunked up and I just turned it, I had gloves on, turned it with my fingers. And I used these Q-tips to get most of the gunk out and that's what it looks like. So that's from the protective wrapping, I think just over the years. Dripping down, it's all the same stuff that was all over the bed. And there you have it, the unboxing of the 2001 King 6 inch 150C jointer, Kijiji Ad, awesome find, just had to clean it up, uh, finish assembling it, um, I gotta learn some more about it, read some more of the manual before I really use it, I'm going on vacation tomorrow so I shouldn't have even been doing this, I should be going, I should be inside packing, uh, is what I should be doing, so that's what I'm gonna do, thanks for watching the video. And I will see you next time.